So, what's up? I decided to finally do another video. It's been about a month and a half or so. Um, I didn't do any videos in the month of February, but I'm trying to do some more for Feb for March. So, here I am. As you can see, I have on my Xbox Live headset. Default headset. Um, I'm supposed to be playing some Borderlands 2 later with um, one of my writers for GI, who's also a really good friend. So, we'll see. Um, I finally beat Borderlands 2. Finally. I finally beat the game. Um, we beat it together. Um... And, uh, it was wonderful, like, uh, it was easier than I expected, but I know that it's going to be pretty hard on, uh, True Vault Hunter mode, True Vault Hunter mode, God, I cannot talk tonight, um, <laughs> so, I'm sitting in my bedroom, I'm playing Test Drive Unlimited 2 right now, um, I bought it a year ago, and, or I'm sorry, two years ago, I bought it two years ago, like, about this time, and, um, I, um, stopped playing it, I traded it in, and then, um, I went back and bought it again, because I actually really liked the free driving aspect of it, so I decided I was gonna do that and get it again, and I have fun with it, I like driving around, and also I'm discovering, like, most of the soundtrack now, because before I wasn't really getting the soundtrack, and, um, I knew that I liked the song that was played during the, when you go see the photographer, um, who has you take pictures around Ibiza and, um, Hawaii, but, um, I found I really liked the music, so, um, I'm, I'm pulling a few tracks from the game right now, as a matter of fact. Um, not too much going on with me, um... So, Valentine's Day came and went, and I had a date with the gentleman friend. He's been reinstated to gentleman friend status. It was, yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. I mean, actually, the date was pretty awesome. Like, yeah, the fact that he's been reinstated to gentleman friend status is what's, like, yeah. Um, so, we went on this date, and um, we went to, we went bowling, and then we went to, like, the ramen house that we always go to. We always go to the ramen house. Um, because it's cheap. <laughs> and, and we know where it is. So, and we both like ramen. So we were like, yay, ramen house. Let's go there for Valentine's Day. So, um, yeah, we went and we had a fantabulous time. My dress did not turn out the way I wanted it to. It looked so terrible. I didn't like it. I did not like how the dress turned out um, that I wore. Because I wore a new dress and... I was I was impressed with it beforehand, and then like I wore it again, and it was like, uh, <laughs> I need better shoes. I think I think I need better shoes. Um, my hair didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, and like I wore the same piece that I have on here, but it didn't like it didn't sit right, and so it looked strange in some of the pictures. But um, I mean, otherwise, I had a really good time. I beat him when we went bowling. I bowled 99, and he had, like, 32. <laughs> he kept throwing the gutter balls, which was adorable, but um, he said he hadn't been bowling in, like, years, so I kind of expected that, but, I mean, I haven't either, so um, I, I really wasn't trying that hard. I really wasn't. Um, I play a lot of Tekken Bowl, or I used to, and I actually watch bowling on TV, and I used to bowl really well back in the day when I did go bowling. I used to bowl a lot. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we went bowling and then we went to dinner. And um, I found out at dinner that um, he kind of sort of feels the same way about me, I guess, that I feel about him. I don't know. Like, I'm not really even dating seriously right now. I'm not even trying to date anybody seriously because... I don't really have the patience for that. I I didn't think that I would have to start all over again after seven years. And I'm kind of on the fence about dating again. Like, I really don't think I want to date again for a while. Like, I don't know. It depends. I mean, if I met someone and they were really great and they were wonderful and they wanted to date me, I'm not going to be like, no. But at the same time, I don't know if I really want to get involved in another relationship really soon. I don't know. 
it's it's not like you know people are beating down my door anyway so <laughs> i have a lot of time to consider this and decide exactly what i want to do but um there is um i met someone else who coincidentally has the same name as the gentleman friend and he's like super super cute he is adorable he is so adorable he is very tall and adorable and he's also way younger than me and I want to be like, oh my god, I feel like a cougar right now. <laughs> I feel like a cougar. I'm like, this dude is adorable. And he's super cute. And, like, I just want to, like, pet him. He is so adorable. I just want to put him in the palm of my hand and just pet him. <laughs> but he's a baby. Oh my god, he's a baby. He's a little baby. He's seven, seven and a half years younger than me. And I'm going to tell you, my ass is going to, yeah, I'm old. I'm going to be 32 on my birthday. Like, I'm old. <laughs> okay. So I feel like I'm straight up robbing the cradle. <laughs> oh my gosh. But he is adorable. And he is, he, he and I have a lot in common. And I mean, I don't even know. I just met the dude for the first time the other day. And, um, I mean, he added me as a friend on Facebook first, and I was like, okay, hello. You are adorable. What in the world? You're super cute, and you are a nerd, and you wear glasses. That's two things in your favor right there. <laughs> and you and I have lots in common. That's a third thing in your favor. So, I don't know. I wasn't, like, trying to, like, jump all over him or anything. I just was kind of like, so, I'm in the area. I would like to meet you. You are adorable, and... Um, super cute. And so I did. I asked, sent him a message finally, and I was like, we should meet up. And because I was all nervous about it. God. Like, I don't want to be nervous about stuff. I'm so awkward when it comes to, like, talking to people. Just not even just dudes, just people. Like, in general, that I don't know and that I haven't actually, like, met. Like, met, met. And so, like,. I don't know. I was trying not... I felt really awkward about the whole thing, and I was trying not to be, like, crazy stalkerish type. Like, I was trying not to seem like, you know, creepy old woman in the club who's, like, staring at dudes from across the room and, you know, being gross and stuff. So, um, I also didn't want to seem really weird, and I'm already weird enough. Like, I don't need that to on top of being weird. Like, I don't need creepy stalker, you know, like trying to attack a dude on top of being, like, weird. So, I was all nervous about sending him a message, but, um, I got to see my work wife, and we went to lunch, and then, um, I sent the guy a message, and I was like, hey, so, I'm in the area, you should come meet me. <laughs> I'm at the arcade, you should come meet me. Um, so, I met him, and he's super tall. <laughs> I'm like 5'6". He is easily 6 feet tall. <laughs> I had to look up at him. Like, I had to look up at him. And I was like, oh my god, you're tall. And that is kind of awesome. <laughs> um, I also like tall dudes. I married a short dude. And that's not cool. I will not date a short dude ever again. No, no, and no. I will never date a dude who's my height ever again. Never. Little dudes... No. Little dudes, no. Just, no. I'm not trying to be picky or anything. I ain't, I ain't, look, I ain't trying to throw shade on nobody's chances or anything, but I don't want to date a short dude. I don't. I don't really want to date a short dude. They all have, like, this complex and shit. And I want to be like, no, sit your little ass down. <laughs> it's not cute. So, <laughs> I'm, like, taller than you when I wear heels. Sit your little ass down. <laughs> So, um, um, I, um, but yeah, I met the dude and it was, it was awesome. So I don't know. I mean, we'll see how that goes. Um, I've talked to him sporadically off and on and I'm kind of like, hello, date me. I'm free. I'm available. I'm not trying to be thirsty, but I'm available and I'd like to go out with you and I don't want to seem too forward and crazy and ridiculous and old. So, <laughs> I'm kind of like, yeah, I live on my own, and I have a job, and, you know, I'm old, and you're not. You're still in school, and, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. 
So, and he also did ask me about my marriage. Like, I mentioned that I had been married. And so he asked me, um, how long was I married? And I had to be, like, seven years and two weeks to the day. And actually eight years on paper. But as much as I, if I could say uh, the least of me, the least things about that is possible, yeah. Don't ask me any more questions about it because I really don't want to talk about it right now. <laughs> I want to talk about you. <laughs> I was like, I really want to talk. I didn't say this, but I was like, I really want to talk about you. I don't want to talk about me, and I don't want to talk about my failed, horrible marriage. Like, I really don't. Because <laughs> I'm just going to, it's just going to make me angry, and then I'm going to seem like jaded, bitter, old woman. And I really don't want to seem like jaded, bitter, old woman. So, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm navigating the dating world again, I guess, and it's weird. I don't know. So... We'll see. Um, not too much else going on with me. I'm losing weight, if you couldn't tell, in my previous videos. Like, my face is getting less fat. And I've lost a lot of weight in my stomach. So, um, I'm not quite as fat as I was. Because um, I was fat girl. I mean, let me tell you. Fat girl. <laughs> I didn't nickname myself Fatty for no reason. <laughs> so... I am losing weight. It's crazy. Like, I'm just all of a sudden just dropping weight like crazy. Um, probably because I'm poor and I can't afford to eat. So, I don't, um, I don't, and I don't eat as much anymore. Like, I just don't eat as much. Like, my stomach is shrunk. So, I don't need to eat as much. Um, I've caught, cut back on portions and I watch my sodium intake because I have a big problem with that. Um, and I know that from having gone to the doctor. So, um, several times and they've checked out everything and they were like oh you just probably need to watch your sodium intake because that's really your only problem you don't have any heart problems or anything like that so you probably won't drop dead of a heart attack anytime soon um which is or congestive heart failure which my mom was concerned about so um i don't know but nothing too much else going on with me i'm excited about losing weight um also i have a job possibility lined up um in Colombia which I'm also excited about um hopefully I will get this job so that I can move back home because my mom's illness is progressing it is progressing actually um it's spread a little bit the, the good news is the tumor hasn't really the tumor isn't really growing that she has but the cancer that she has has spread a little bit so <sighs> We knew that this was going to happen. And so, the good news is it hasn't spread to her brain. That is always good news. When it spreads to your brain, you are officially fucked. Okay? Let's just go on and say that. That's, that's basically what it is. You are basically fucked. So, um, but it hasn't spread to her brain. Um, and it's only spread a little bit. So, and it hasn't spread any more than what it did before. When it was when it spread the first time, that's as much as it spread. She had a new scan done um, today, as a matter of fact. So um, she was saying that it hadn't spread anymore and that it's just kind of sitting there. And she's doing chemo right now, but um, we're hoping the chemo is going to do something. But it doesn't seem like the chemo is doing anything. It's just stopping it, I guess. Like it's it's prolonging and keeping it from spreading, I guess. So, um, I'm really trying to get back home, and, um, I don't know, um, spend more time with her, as much as I can, while I got left, because we don't know, we don't have a timetable for, you know, when the end will come, we just know it will come, because of the cancer, so, um, but we'll see, I'm, I'm just, I'm really trying to get a job there, and, working every day and we finally got an extra person at work so we're back up to full staff again and this person hasn't started yet but we're back up to full staff so hopefully this person will stick around and I can take vacation so we'll see anyway alright I'm gonna get up out of here because I'm gonna go finish playing my game and then I'm gonna I guess I'm gonna go to bed for the night I'm tired I've been up all damn day I'm so tired <laughs> <laughs> Fatty's tired. <laughs> Fatty's been up all day. I work day shift today, so I'm like super tired. But anyway, so um, I guess we'll see you guys later. 
and I'll make another video at some point. Later. This is...